to his supporters, mainly from the Sinhala Buddhist majority, Gotabaya Rajapaksa is the president Sri Lanka needs. They believe he can strengthen security after the Easter Sunday suicide bomb attacks. 263 people were killed. The government ignored intelligence warnings that the bombings were imminent. It's paid the price for that and other perceived failings at this election. National security was at stake. No investors were coming in. Uh, the trading people were crying. In fact, every other day there was some agitation. And uh, obviously they were waiting for an opportunity to change the government. Rajapaksa is a divisive figure. Many Tamils in Sri Lanka's north believe the former defence secretary should be tried over allegations of killings and disappearances during the final stages of the war against the Tamil Tigers. The country's Muslim council says his victory realises all our worst fears. They are fearful because this uh, Gotabe Rajapaksa in his election campaign stressed national security and national security to the ethnic minority is something f a little bit fearful because it means that they are the ones being viewed as security threats and for the Muslims in particular they have bad memories of the period before 2015 because there were riots against them even though there was a very good military under Gotabe uh, the military and the intelligence didn't protect the Muslims and I hope that that will change in the future. Older brother and former President Mahindra may now become Prime Minister as the Rajapaksa family returns to frontline politics. Well, uh, elated, excited and super excited and happy for the country and a result that majority of the Sri Lankans have been expecting for a long time. We wanted someone like this to save the country so that our children, the future generation, will have a country. One of Gotabaya Rajapaksa's priorities is to rebuild state intelligence and surveillance networks. He says they were dismantled by the outgoing administration under international pressure. And when asked about those allegations of human rights abuses when he was Defence Secretary, the now President-elect says people should stop talking about the past. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Colombo. Well, let's tell you more about Sri Lanka's incoming president. Gatabaya Rajapaksa served as defence minister while his brother Mahinda was president from 2005 to 2015. They oversaw the defeat of the Tamil Tigers at the end of a civil war that had lasted decades. A controversial figure, he's accused of human rights abuses. To many of the majority Sinhalese, he's a hero. But he was effectively in charge of the army during the forced disappearance of thousands of Tamils. His ascent to power could also signal a shift in foreign relations. The Rajapaksas were shunned by the West and India for alleged abuses and are seen to favour relations with China. Well, Charu Lata Hogg is an associate fellow in the Asia program at Chatham House and she joins us from London. I wanted to start first of all with what people were looking for. Clearly, this is the strong man. You've got the, uh, the, the hangover from the Easter attacks, of course, that very much influenced this election. Is this what people were looking for? A strong man in charge who has proved to be a strong man in the past? Absolutely. I think there are multiple factors at work here. Firstly, it's the, the fight against terrorism, which uh, Gotabaya is uh, seen to be strong enough to lead and protect Sri Lanka. The second is the issue of political stability and strength as well. You know, as last year showed that the, when there was a constitutional crisis in November, that um, there were doubts about within Sri Lanka about the ability of the, uh, the government to lead lead the country and to deliver the prospects that everybody wanted. Mm. Uh, there is also the state of the economy. So I think multiple factors came together, but most importantly, I think it was a call for somebody who could uh, play a strong role and, and give the, the country stability. And in that case, what does this do to tensions, ethnic tensions within the country itself? Are you concerned now about where this may be heading? I think the spells a particularly low point for minorities, uh, not just the Tamil minority, but also for Muslim minorities. Uh, it is true that there have been uh, attacks, uh, attacks which have been condoned by the state in 2003, uh, 13 and 2014 against the Muslim community, led by hardline singular Buddhists, uh, which have not been acted upon. Uh, subsequently, there have been attacks in 2018, and following the 
2019 um, Easter Sunday attacks, uh, they ha the, the Muslim community is feeling very, very vulnerable, and uh, as it should. So in terms of uh, the future of uh, reconciliation in Sri Lanka and the, and the, uh, the issue of minorities feeling at home and secure, I think this spells a particularly uh, low point in Sri Lankan history. Let's look a little bit more broadly now at how this is going to be perceived by countries in the region, most notably India. But of course, there's been tensions in the past with other countries during uh, for the former Rajapaksa re regime there. Um, how do you see that playing out, particularly the relationship with China, which may offset the, the, the tensions with India? Well, uh, since 2015, the relationship with India uh, ostensibly perked up and there was an attempt in, at establishing better trade, improving bilateral political relationships, and that would certainly seem to take uh, a back seat and would not figure in the calculations of Gotabaya Rajapaksa if the past is anything to go by. So the 10 years under his brother's presidency between 2005 and 2015 certainly saw a strengthening of relationship with China, and with Pakistan, both in terms of military supplies, but also in terms of investments within Sri Lanka. Um, the fact is, the Sri Lankan economy is at not at a good place. It's for the 15th time it's had a bailout by the IMF, and certainly foreign direct investment is at an all-time low. Uh, all this is accentuated by the fact that uh, we've had this Easter Sunday attacks and therefore mm. uh, trust in the Sri Lankan state is, is low at this point in time. One way to bolster, and, and that would be perhaps Gotabaya Rajapaksa's calculation, is to go back within the Chinese embrace. And this would have a pretty strong impact within mm. uh, the regional, regional relationships with India. I Tell think there's another it. issue that one must be... Yes. I'm sorry, we, just, just, just finish that thought. Just go ahead. Uh, one more issue we must be mindful about is that there was an international-led process at the Human Rights Council on transition justi justice and accountability in Sri Lanka, and that certainly seems to have ground to a halt. Nice to have you on the programme, Chari Lata Thank you so much for your time.